largest ships ever made. CY's Giant TTCY's Giant was a ULCC supertanker, that was the longest self-propelled ship, in history, built by Sumitomo Heavy Industries, in Yokosuka, Kanagawa, Japan. It possessed, the greatest deadweight tonnage ever recorded. Fully laden, its displacement was 657,019 tons. The heaviest self-propelled ship of any kind, and, with a laden draft of 24.6 meters, 81 feet, it was incapable of navigating the English Channel, the Suez Canal, or the Panama Canal. Overall, it is generally considered the largest self-propelled ship ever built. Although, in recent years its overall length has been surpassed by 30 meters by the floating liquefied natural gas installation Shell Prelude, FLNG. A monohull barge designed 488 meters, long and, 600,000 tons displacement. CY's Giant's engines were powered by the Lungstrom turbine technology. The vessel was sold to Indian ship breakers, and, renamed Mott for a final journey, in December 2009. After clearing Indian customs, the ship sailed to Along, Gujarat, where it was beached for scrapping. Bodilu Class Supertanker The Bodilu Class Supertankers was a class of supertanker ships built, in France, in the late 1970s, with four ships of this class built between, 1976 and, 1979. Three of the ships were scrapped after less than 10 years of oil transport service each, with the fourth one scrapped, in 2003. All four tankers were built, in the Basson Sea dock of the Chantiers de l'Atlantique shipyards, at Saint-Nazaire, France. The body Lou class had a depth of nearly 36 meters, 118 feet 1 in, from the main deck and, a full load draft of 28.5 meters, 93 feet 6 in, second only to the ULCC tanker, Al Andalus, which had a draft of 33.51 meters, 109 feet 11 in, and, slightly greater than the two Globtic Tokyo class, ULCCs. The Body Lou class vessels had twin screws, twin boilers of full size and, power, and, twin rudders. As a result, in an emergency they could more easily and, safely be operated than with a single propeller and, a single boiler. SO Atlantic and SO Pacific The two ships of the SO Atlantic class, SO Atlantic and, SO Pacific, were two of only seven ships to surpass a half million tons deadweight, in maritime history. Served between 1977 and, 2002, they both approached a gross tonnage of 235,000 and, 508,628 tons deadweight tonnage. When plying the sea, these two ships of the Esso Atlantic class had a fully laden draft of 25.3 meters, 83 feet, which made it impossible for them to navigate the English Channel, the Suez Canal, or the Panama Canal when loaded up to capacity. They were 406.57 meters, 1,333.89 feet, in length and, 31.22 meters, 102.43 feet, in depth. They were renamed Cape Panyanas, in 2002, when they were sold by SO Eastern Marine Limited, Bermuda, to Ceres Hellenic Shipping Ent. Limited, Greece. They were both scrapped, in August and, September 2002, in Gadani Beach, Pakistan. When plying the sea, the vessels had a fully laden draft of 25.3 meters, 83 feet. NAI Superba and NAI Genova The NAI Superba and, her sister NAI Genova were ultra-large crude carriers, ULCC, that were launched, in 1978. They were built at Eriksberg's Mekaniska Verkstads Ab shipyard, in Jutteborg, Sweden. They were among the last built at that facility before it closed, in 1979 due to financial issues that had begun when Japanese shipyards began to exert a level of dominance within the industry. Boosted by a steam engine, NAI Superba and NAI Genova had a gross tonnage of 198,783, 
a deadweight tonnage of 409,400, and a length of 381.81 meters, 1,253 feet. Their beam was just under 63.4 meters, 208 feet. While they were originally known as oil ships, they also transported chemicals to ports around the world. Despite this versatility, they were sold multiple times between 1985 and 1997. After three more years of economic struggles, the sad decision to scrap them was made in 2000 for NAI Genova and 2001 for NAI Superba. Bear Gamperer Bear Gamperer was a supertanker built in 1975 in Japan by Mitsui. At 391.83 meters, 1,285.5 feet, she was one of the world's longest ships. Bear Emperor was launched on August 30, 1975. The ship was owned by Bergeson D.Y. and Company but was sold to Mosto BV in 1985 and renamed Emperor. The ship was scrapped at Kaohsiung, Taiwan on March 30, 1986. Bear Gempress had a gross tonnage of 198,783, while Bear Gemperer had 203,112. They were two of the largest oil tankers ever built. T-Class The T-Class of supertankers comprises the ships T-Africa, T-Asia, T-Europe and T-Oceania where the T refers to the VLCC Tanker Pool Operator Tankers International. The class were the first ultra-large crude carriers to be built. In 25 years, by displacement, deadweight tonnage, cargo mass, and gross tonnage the T-class ships are smaller only than, pioneering spirit. Compared to the T-class, the Maersk Triple E-class container ships are longer and, have a higher cargo volume, including above-deck containers, the previous largest ship, the supertanker Seawise Giant, was dismantled in 2010. All four oil tankers were constructed for shipping company Hellespond Group by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering in Okpo, South Korea. Entering service between March 2002 and April 2003. The ships were originally named Hellespont Alhambra, Hellespont Fairfax, Hellespont Metropolis and Hellespont Terra, 